got a crazy wingspan with, with a 40 plus inch vertical. He's one of those guys that with, with the uh, versatility he has off these moves, that the way he's finishing off these spin moves and some of these reverse bullies that we're talking about, most guys can't do that. Once they land on two feet, they're stuck. They're going off and finishing with one hand or you know, layup. So uh, with a guy like him to be able to do that, that's what we're trying to tell him. Like You can be one of those guys that hasn't really been seen you know, recently in, in recent drafts with your size, being able to, you know, exploit guys in the post, you know, use your length. I need to use the post as an advantage and um, really get good at the post game and learn different moves and, um, and just uh, have it in, in my game. You know, I think that, you know, I've gained some explosiveness in, uh, during the off season, um, you know, finishing stronger around the rim. Um, you know, something that, you know, I was trying to improve on during the season and, uh, you know, as the season went on during the, you know, Big East tournament and then the tournament, you know, I started finishing more around the rim. Um, you know, I think it's something that I want to keep improving on and um, to show in the NBA. You know, it was just improving on, on my hand quickness and uh, my control of the ball. And, uh, you know, we do all types of dribbling drills, so. Um, just to keep my handle tight and um, keep my hand quick and He gives us, you know, six different reads, and uh, you know we freelance with those six different reads, and um, you know we communicate with each other, and um, you know we practice on different reads, so you know we, we get it down pat. Most what the NBA runs is pick and rolls. And, um, you know, I'm just going to keep practicing um, using the pick and roll, and it's something that I like to do, so and it uh, comes pretty natural to me. And uh, you know, just keep working on my reads. You know, just to you know, work on different moves, one on one moves, and so um, you know, working on the pump fake and uh, our step backs, and just to uh, get our shots off. In a, uh, when the shot clock goes down into in different situations. I'm, I'm assessing his shot the first time I got to work with him. Uh, there's nothing mechanically flawed in his shot. You know, he actually does a really nice job. He keeps it in. You know, it's just more uh, flat. You know, so we've been working on things like uh, you know bringing up, uh, you know, raising a noodle. You know, above him, so he's reaching over the top and not shooting at the rim. You know, and just you know working on chair shooting and just different things mechanically to get him more and more comfortable. So a guy like him, I just think it's it's more about those reps and uh, you know building the confidence. Just being in here with Jay every day and uh, getting a lot of reps up and um, get my shot, um, you know, the same every time. I think uh, you know it's helped me a lot. I've just been working on you know my arc and my shot and uh, keeping my elbow up. Like I just see the way he's grinding. You know, if people are just banking on him not being able to shoot the ball, they're going to be surprised. You know that, that he's going to be able to knock down shots and keep guys on. So to whatever team I go to and whatever team chooses me. Um, I just hope that um, I'm able to fit you know, with their system and be able to contribute to their team and uh, be the best uh, player I can be on their team. You know, I think that uh, you know I have the talent and, and worth I think to uh, come in and start a lot right away and uh, contribute to a team.